Here at ASCO 2011 in Chicago, Illinois, joining us now is Dr. Robert J. Mozer, attending physician at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York, here to talk about his phase three study. Thanks, doctor. What can you tell us your motivation uh, for this study? There's recently been literally a revolution in the treatment of advanced kidney cancer. Uh, advanced kidney cancer has historically been considered to be one of the most difficult cancers to treat with a poor prognosis. Uh, for the most part, chemotherapy drugs didn't work and the mainstay of treatment was medicines that boost the immune system. They've had a very low success rate and have been replaced by what are referred to as tyrosine kinase inhibitors or anti-angiogenesis agents. It's recognized that there's a gene that's mutated in kidney cancer and that these new drugs, these anti-angiogenesis drugs, they, they go in and they uh, attack and correct that gene. Um, it can be thought of that they, they largely strangle off the blood supply to tumors. Originally, there were two tyrosine kinase inhibitors that were developed, sunitinib and serafinib, that are multi-targeted and had a, uh, a beneficial effect in patients with metastatic renal cancer. These are now the standard of care for treatment in first-line renal cell cancer and in, in subsequent therapy. There is a, um, a rationale for newer analogs of these drugs, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, and there are two schools of thought. One is to be very selective with inhibition, and the other is to attack multiple pathways. Tavazinib is a novel tyrosine kinase inhibitor that's being developed by Avio Pharmaceuticals that is a highly selective potent inhibitor of vascular endothelial growth factor receptor 2, which is a receptor found in blood vessels that helps feed renal cell cancer and, and allow it to grow. There was originally a large randomized phase 2 trial that showed Tavazinib had high level of activity with regard to objective response rate, long progression-free survival, and a very favorable safety profile. For some of the older drugs, one of the issue has been chronic toxicities. Uh, some toxicities that can be particularly problematic are skin toxicity and fatigue and so forth. Tavazinov has been developed to avoid these sort of toxicities, and that may be one potential benefit for this particular agent. So the, um, the Tavazinib is being studied in a pivotal phase three trial compared to serafinib, which was one of the original uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors that's approved many, wheres, many places around the world. It's called the TiVo-1 trial, and it's a phase three study in patients who either have had no prior systemic therapy or who have pre previously had and progressed on cytokine therapy, such as interferon. You seem rather optimistic about the possibilities here. Well, I think uh, I've been impressed so far with the available data with Tavazda uh, regarding the phase two data. Um, the, uh, in, in patients who had clear cell carcinoma of the kidney and a prior nephrectomy, which makes up generally the, the patient population in the United States, the median progression-free survival in the phase two trial was a little over 14 months, which really compares favorably to that of the other drugs. I've also been impressed by the toxicity profile and the lack of some of the toxicities that have been problematic, like fatigue and, uh, and, uh, and skin toxicity. I am the uh, principal investigator of the phase three trial, so I've had hands-on experience with Tavazinov as a part of that trial, and I have been impressed by its tolerance and its, its level of activity. Do you see this as something of a next generation? I think that tavazinib could be considered as a, uh, a next generation a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. And um, I'm optimistic in kidney cancer that we're going to continue to make progress as we develop new drugs uh, and we find particularly clinical settings that they are, can be applied to and, and benefit our patient population. Do you have any additional goals 
one of our uh, main goals is individualization of therapy for metastatic renal cancer. So that the more options that are available, the better. One patient may do better with one uh, drug and another patient with another. So I think that among our armamentarium of drugs for renal cell cancer, I'm, I'm very hopeful that uh, Tavazidib finds a place and uh, brings the field further. Congratulations on your work, Doctor. Dr. Robert J. Mozer from Sloan Kettering in New York, joining us here at ASCO 2011 on Onkiview.tv.